Hey everybody, Michael Garber here. Uh, wanted to go over a quick audio editing tip in Final Cut Pro 10. This is something that made working in the magnetic timeline so much easier for me. Uh, frankly, it was an aha moment, the moment where I was like, okay, I get it. Now I can work on long form pieces, on especially on like documentaries and corporate documentaries. And what this pertains to is uh, how best to deal with cutting down music in the timeline or really any audio um, where let's say you're gonna make a, a blade in a piece of music, which uh, I have a piece prepared here and um, some of the gotchas that you may be facing. So let me move down to here. And uh, this is a long, longer piece of music, and I want the piece to end, you know, somewhere around here. So I've already found the cut points for you guys. So here's how I would have dealt with it in the past. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a blade here. And I'm going to make a cut here and I'm going to delete that. Now in the past when I was had first started working in Final Cut I would have done this in order to uh, overlap a cut and uh, pull out your fade handles and there you go. That's how also I would have done it in Final Cut Pro 7. Uh, but the problem with this is now if I wanted to insert a shot perhaps here uh, that pushes this down. So here's the trick on how to make this work. And let me undo this. And I'll undo these blades. So the first thing I'll do is if I know I'm going to cut one audio track down, I'll select the track, immediately turn it into a secondary storyline, create a blade, blade there. And now, since it's in a secondary storyline, it uh, has all the magnetic properties to it. So I can delete that and it bounces back. And so let's say now I wanted to add, make this overlap here. You can actually treat these clips like video clips where you can overlap them by hitting Control S and it breaks them out so that you can do an L or a J cut. So now you have, let me collapse those. So now you have all of the magnetic properties. And if I want to insert a shot here, it doesn't push anything down. So let's go one step deeper here. So let's say you want to time something to the music that you always want to remain locked to the music. Now there's two ways you could do it. The first way is you could put the sound effects beneath the music and then you could turn it into a compound clip. My problem with that is that nothing in my timeline is really done editing until I'm done editing. And I don't want to have to create an extra compound clip and then break it apart and then put it back together. And then you've got a lot of compound clips. And I don't want to have to go into the compound clip every time I want to change stuff. So one way I might go about it is this little trick. So if you select the entire secondary storyline here by clicking here in this gray area and... Uh, I'll go to the endpoint there of that clip of the secondary storyline and I hit command C and command V to paste it. Now I just get a dupe of that clip but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the uh, delete key that will create a gap clip here in a secondary and the trick here is that now I can what I've done is I've created a second a blank secondary storyline the same length as my audio below it and it has the same clip connection point. So now if I wanted to say add a sound effect here, um, just go ahead and find some audio. And I can insert that there, there, and there. And let's just say those are our three sound effects that we wanted to time to the music. So basically that's just a little trick to try to get um, all of your audio in sync. And then, you know, you could clean it up a little by then deleting that gap at the end there. Hope this helps. Hope this is something that will allow you to work better and faster in Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for listening.